Lee Sanger and I've been working with Leapfrog Ability. Um, we've been running the workshops here at Newcastle Art Space. Um, seeing the way that everybody's built these relationships with one another, so much more confident in what they do. The workshops have really just been a great experience for everyone involved, all the clients of Leapfrog, the artists involved, um, the carers. Just to see it all happening and seeing everything blossoming, it's been great. Okay, so now we're going to be talking with Kevin from the Samaritans, who's also Hi. been uh, a part of the workshops. Um, so Kevin, in your experience with the workshops, what's been something that's been a highlight for you and what have you been getting out of them? The, um, the thing that struck me particularly is the, um, the way that people connect, the social connection, that people are here um, in a way because art's giving them an opportunity to find new things about themselves, but yeah. it's also creating opportunities to talk and to connect and yeah. to be part of something. I, th I actually think people are discovering skills and yeah. talents yeah. and that's for everyone. And I think there's a great mix between people with intellectual disability, the artists, the professionals that are coming together. And um, the art together on the walls is pretty comparative. Yeah. And, and it's, so it's showing a whole strength and understanding and yeah. a way I'm hoping of the community to be able to recognise that everybody has inherent skills and yeah. there's an equality about expression and the way people work with each other. Yeah. yeah. So, hmm, that's what I'm getting from the young. Um, <laughs> and I hope that people visiting the exhibit see that and make that connection as well. To Carol who's from Leapfrog Ability and she's been coordinating the workshops that we've been running here. So Carol, um, as the coordinator of the workshops, what are some of the benefits that you've seen that the clients have been getting out of this? We've just had so much fun and enjoyed these workshops to date this year. Um, we've watched people grow and develop with their skills, but also their confidence and their self-esteem. Um, we've watched people discover the talents that they didn't realise that they had. So yeah. it's been <laughs> lots and lots of fun. We've watched uh, one one um, woman say, look, look, Carol, come over, look, I found me. But we've also watched people grow personally as individuals. So we've had people that have been quite shy, um, grow in confidence and um, ask um, to be able to be shown skills from some of the various artists. What we've found is there's been this exchange of ideas, so we've been demonstrating and modelling skills as artists for the clients, and then the clients have been able to do, have a try for themselves. Um, Helen's been with us at Leapfrog, we've been working with Helen um, most of this year, and initially um, Helen was quite a shy person, but she absolutely loves it, and her enthusiasm um, has just been contagious. So what we've, what we've found with Helen is she's come out of the shell more and more and um, has been able to draw the things that are very important to her, um, in particular her, her family and her children. So that's a reoccurring theme for Helen and, and gardening, which is something that we've been doing at Leapfrog as well. So gardening, gardens and children are featuring um, quite highly in, um, in Helen's work. So I thought perhaps she'd be the best person to talk about. <laughs> Okay. These are painting off me and looking through the mirror and that and I never thought I could do stuff like this but I did, I showed myself and I like doing pictures of me and my kids because they're pretty important to me and I like the gardening and stuff like that and I've done oil painting and Monto printing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like doing all the stuff that's here. I'm Ali from Leap from Ability, and they've been at all the workshops since the beginning. Um, so I wanted to talk to you guys about what's been a highlight for you. You can just see a dramatic change in yep. how much they've been and the confidence in them. Yep. Um, a few of our clients at Leapfrog have just love coming here now yeah. and it just makes me smile and yeah. it's probably the highlight for me. 
to see them, you know, start believing that they can do things that before they would put themselves down for and now coming in and wanting to have a go at everything and wanting to see everything and just having so much fun and just the building confidence because of it. You've been at every single workshop since the beginning, I think bar one maybe. So mm. what's been a highlight for you that's come out of the workshop? Probably their sense of achievement. Yes. When yeah. they when they actually see their work and it goes on a wall and they think, well I presume they think, gosh, I did that. Yeah. <laughs> and for me as a as a painter, it's a highlight for me to see how they can cut to the chase, they intuitively know what the subject's about. Yes. They don't fluff around, they just go yep. straight there. You've got out of the workshops personally. Well, um, more, um, it has taught me to go straight to the essence of the subject yep. because they do that so well. They don't get involved in all the other layers of a subject. They go yep. straight to the heart of it yep. and they put it down very quickly yep. and it's so effective and powerful. So I would like to try and take some of that into my work. Wendy, who is the administrator of the Newcastle Community Arts Centre, which is where we are. Um, so, Wendy, what's been uh, an experience that you've got out of being a part of the workshops? Look, the whole... I actually look forward to each of these Saturdays when, yep. when they come up. Um, it's one of those joyous moments in a month that yes. comes. And I think the majority of that is because there is such happiness within that room and they have so much fun. And also from the very first day until now, you can mm -hmm. actually see the growth in the yes. skill. Yeah, like can. I look at the work from the very first day to now, and even the confidence, the confidence level of what they were doing, yes. to now they come, the clients know what they want to do, and they do it, and it's yeah. brilliant. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. So can you, see the connect, can you see the connection between you two people? You're both from the one with each other. Hi, I'm Naomi James from Lifestyle Solutions. Many people living with disability in our community have limited opportunities to experience normal everyday life without the support of a family carer or a paid support person. This can often decrease that person's sense of value within their family, their social networks and the community. The art workshops have become a safe place where ability or disability is irrelevant. We are bridging the gap between staff community members and people with disability. For me, the, the absolute joy in bringing people together, the artists, etc., and everyone being on a level playing field um, yep. uh, is just amazing. I know that the lady who's filming this at the moment was so amazed. She said, Kate, said, I can't stop smiling. This is so good. Um, so I think everyone walks away with Wow, what talent, and isn't this fun? Um, okay, well, I, I've got a studio at the Community Arts Centre. Yep. I like doing printmaking. You never um, lose the joy of watching. What I've got out of it, I've really enjoyed seeing um, all the clients um, get themselves get something out of it. The, um, doing the art. Fantastic. If you would like to make a donation, please feel free to at this exhibition or directly via the websites of the charities involved. <laughs>